Martin Jacques is the author of When China Rules the World, and he joins us now. Thanks for coming on the programme. Um, I mean, what would you say have been some of the most significant challenges in the 50 years that China and the UK have been forging these closer economic ties? Well, I think un the underlying, underlying uh, theme, actually, and the most challenging theme, is just the extraordinary reversal uh, in their size and in that sense, their relationship. Because in 1972, uh, the UK economy was probably around about 50% larger than that of China. And today, the Chinese economy is something like six or seven times the size of the UK economy. So therefore, the meaning of China for us uh, in the UK has been uh, transformed. It is extremely important now. Uh, even though relations have not been so strong in the recent past. But looking forwards, China is going to be so important, increasingly important uh, for the UK economy and everything else. You know, you, you met, it was mentioned uh, uh, as a source of uh, students and so on. There's lots of ways in which China is going to become just more and more important. So let's talk about those those ways. You know, who what wants what? You know, what's in it for China? What's in it for Britain, respectively, in this in growing their relationship? Well, I think what what what's in it for Britain is uh, China already uh, about uh, nineteen percent uh, of the global economy, huge and getting bigger and growing quicker than Britain. So this is a great export opportunity for Britain and an investment opportunity as well. And uh, therefore, uh, playing to the strengths of the British economy uh, in areas like, uh, to some extent, the digital economy, uh, in culture uh, uh, and uh, new media uh, and so on, I think there's uh, big opportunities uh, for Britain. I mean, it needs to be obviously done in a sensible and uh, well thought out way. Uh, but it seems to me that, it, that, that, that China is, in that sense, a really big opportunity. And uh, you know, there's a lot of debate in Britain about new markets and so on, having uh, decided to leave the European Union. Well, actually, the biggest market of all is China by, 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 a, by a, quite a way. And so this is, this, from the Chinese point of view, I think that China is probably, you know, more specific. I mean, first of all, of course, China's keen on uh, exporting uh, to the UK. It's, it's a very competitive economy, uh, as we all know. Uh, it's, it, it, it's anxious to de develop relations in, in terms of nuclear power, uh, uh, in terms of the digital economy, in terms of uh, climate policy, uh, green finance, and so on. So I think there's a lot of potential in it. The problem that's been limiting it over the last several years is just the political differences uh, that have uh, developed mainly since the election of Trump in 2007, uh, late 2016. But those political plate tectonics change all the time, don't they? Martin Jack, thank you very much for your insight. Thank you very much.